Today on Snake Eyes Prince, we're going to do a very simple colograph of the trilobite. In the Natural History Museum of Sugarland in Texas, I noticed there were some beautiful examples of amazing trilobites. And I've always thought that the trilobite would make a really good colograph. I'm just going to make this out of the top of a shoebox. Any cardboard will do. I just draw the design down and then I just simply add glue. I'm just using a paintbrush here and I'm just building up all the spaces I want to be white. And this PVA glue, it dries clear but it's white to start with and it kind of helps with the design. But I find that the PVA glue, working glue, is the best type of glue for this job. It's cheap, you can get it at a hardware store, it's easy to work with. I sometimes use a pointed stick to so tease out the glue into some of the smaller areas. Now I let that glue set, let it dry, and when it is dry, come back again and I build it up a second layer. So I wanted to build it up a bit higher. Once that's dry, probably overnight, I give it a good shellacken. So shellac flakes mixed with a bit of methylated spirits, leave it for half an hour and just paint it on. So when you go to color graph, you've got your cardboard like that or whatever you're going to put it on. It can be any substrate really. Stick your glue on like that. What happens when you come to ink it is that you put the ink on and you're wiping the ink off the surface and it goes into the bits around the glue. So on your plate here, which is almost white and this is almost white, right next to the glue is very black and it then just sort of peters out into a gentle soft grey. It's the simplest way of doing a color graph. It's just add a bit of glue to a bit of cardboard, cover the whole thing in shellac, and then print it. Okay, now the exciting bit. I dampen some paper, some rag paper. I put it in blotting paper so it's dry, and while it's drying, I ink up the plate. I rub it back, wiping off the ink and leaving the ink in the grooves. Next, I put it through an etching press. So I put the plate down face up, put the rag paper on top of that and a barrier sheet on top of that and then I roll the whole thing through the press. This is always one of the most exciting times in printmaking because printmaking is kind of exciting as you never know if it's going to work or not. You do have to be part mad scientist to do this. And now the moment of truth. Nice, I'm very happy with that. Kind of worked out exactly how I thought it would, which is pretty strange for a printmaking. So you sort of see that nice soft shadow there. It's where you can't quite get it. You can't get this with normal etching. It's just a iconograph thing, but it looks like a real object. 